Hi everyone. Once again, welcome to Oxford Online Classes. It's me, Satish, with you. Uh, today, in this video lesson, we are going to discuss about some uh, more problems in linear equations in one variable and reducible equations and uh, some of the applications of linear equations in one variable. Before going into the lesson, let us try to recollect uh, the main points we have discussed in uh, previous classes. First of all, equation. What do you mean by an equation? We all know that an equation is an expression with an equal sign. Any expression with equal sign is an equation that we have discussed in the first class. Second is linear equation. What is a linear equation? We all know that an equation with a variable is called an algebraic equation. Such equations with the only one variable and the power of the variable 1 is called a linear equation and the, the standard form of a linear equation is ax plus b equal to 0. There is a condition that a and b are real numbers are real numbers and a cannot be 0. a cannot be 0. a is not equal to 0. If a equal to 0 then the expression becomes 0 plus b equal to 0. That means b equal to 0. Nothing will be there. So, uh, the standard equation must be in the form ax plus b equal to 0 where a not equal to 0 and a and b are real numbers. So, the first two topics we have covered already. The third one is solution of a linear equation. Solution. What do you mean by solution? In the second class we discussed the solution of a linear equation, discussed about the uh, solution of a linear equation. A solution of a linear equation means the value of the variable for which uh, it holds the equality of the given expression, given equation. The value of the variable which holds the equality of the given equation is called the, its solution. The last two topics method to find the solution. To find the solution of a linear equation, we have two methods. One is trial and error method. Uh, that we have discussed earlier in the, in, the, in the previous class and the second is a mathematical method that we are doing the same operation on both sides of the equation uh, that is the method. These are the main points what we have discussed in the last two classes. Now let us move on to the next topic, next two topics we are going to discuss in this class. Uh, first is reducible equations means the equations which can be reduced in the form a x plus b equal to 0. The second is the most important is, uh, topic in this lesson that is application of linear equations in one variable. Now let us move on to the first topic equation reducible to the linear form. Equation reducible to the linear form. We all know that there is a standard form for a linear equation in one variable and the standard form is ax plus b equal to 0 where a not equal to 0 a x plus b equal to 0 where a not equal to 0 is the standard form of a linear equation in one variable. Let us see an, a, an example 2 x plus 3 equal to x minus 2 is, a, is an algebraic equation which is not in its standard form. If it is in standard form LH sorry RHS of the equation should be 0 because it is in the form a x plus b equal to 0 equal to 0 here. LHS is equal to some other expression x minus 2, an algebraic expression x minus 2. We have to uh, make the RHS 0. To make it 0, we have to shift the both these two terms x and minus 2 to the LHS. So, 2x plus 3 plus x is there shifting x to the LHS it become minus x and minus 2 to the left side become plus 2 then equal to 0. Now, 2x plus 3 minus x plus 2 equal to 0 which implies that 2x minus x 2x minus x is x plus 3 plus 2 that is plus 5 equal to 0. x means 1x. 1x plus 5 equal to 0 which is in the form ax plus b equal to 0. Here a is equal to 1 and b equal to 5. This is the standard form of this given equation 2x plus 3 equal to x minus 2. Now let us see another example. Here is an equation 5x minus 8 equal to 3x minus 2. We have to find the solution or value of x. For that I am shifting 3x and minus 2 
to the LHS. Now it become 5x minus 8 minus 3x minus 2 to the left side become plus 2 equal to 0. Now 5x minus 3x is 2x minus 8 plus 2 that is minus 6 equal to 0. Now it is in the standard form a term with the x and a constant a and other side is 0. Now it is in the standard form. Then to find the solution we have to shift all the terms except x to the RHS. So now 2x equal to minus 6 to the uh, right side become plus 6 and x is equal to 6 divided by 2 which is equal to 3. x is equal to 3 is the solution of this equation. Now see to solve this equation I put this uh, the, the given equation in the standard form then I solve it. In the same way we can express any linear equation in its standard form ax plus b equal to 0. If we put the expression in its standard form then we can easily find its solution that is what we are going to uh, see in the next example. Now let us see another example here is a question x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 3 equal to 3 by 8. Is this equation in standard form? No, it is not in the standard form ax plus b equal to 0. So we have to put it into the standard form. Before that you must understand this any expression of the form a by b equal to c by d can be expressed as a into d equal to b into c. Any expression in this form a by b equal to c by d can be expressed as without affecting in, in the inequality of the expression we can express the same as a into d equal to b into c. Always remember that a by b equal to c by d implies a into d, a into d equal to b into c. Keeping this rule in mind what we can say here in this equation x plus 1 by 2x plus 3 equal to 3 by 8 implies that 8 into x plus 1 equal to 3 into 2x plus 3 is not it is clear a by b equal to c by d means a into d equal to b into c in the same way x plus 1 by 2x plus 3 equal to 3 by 8 which is in the form a by b equal to c by d we can express as a into d 8 into x plus 1 equal to b into c 2x plus 3 into 3 we know the distributive property of uh, distributive uh, property uh, of algebraic expressions we are distributing 8 8 into x plus 1 means 8 into x 8x eight now 8 into 1 8 is equal to 3 times 2x 3 times 2x is 6x and 3 into 3 plus 9 now it is 8x plus 8 equal to 3 6x plus 9 now, now I am going to shift 6x plus 9 I mean the right hand side of the equation to the left side that is 8x plus 8 minus 6x when we shift a term to the uh, uh, opposite side we have to uh, do the opposite operation is not it. So I am going to uh, change its sign 6x become minus 6x when it is shifted to the right side sorry left side now plus 9 to the left side become minus 9 equal to 0. 8x minus 6x means 2x plus 8 minus 9 that is minus 1 equal to 0, 0. 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Now it is in standard form a term with a variable and a constant only other side is 0. Now it is in the standard form. Now we have to find the value of x to find the value of x we have to shift the constant m to the right side 2x is equal to minus 1 to the right side become plus 1 and x is equal to 1 over 2 half x is equal to half is the solution of this equation. Now I am going to give you some more example two more examples 
uh, first is 4x plus 8 by 5x plus 8 equal to 5 by 6. We have to find the solution. Before that, we have to put the given equation in its standard form. Okay. We all know that a by b equal to c by d means a into d equal to b into c. Do not forget that. So, let us take our first question. 4x plus 8 divided by 5x plus 8 equal to 5 over 6. By using this rule, we can say 6 into 6 into 4x plus 8 is equal to 5 into 5x plus 8, isn't it? Now, we are going to open the bracket 6 into 4x, 6 times 4, 24x plus 6 times 8, 48 equal to 5 into 5x, 5 times 5, 25x, again 5 into 8. 40 plus 40. Okay. Now, shifting the terms at the right side of the equation to the left side. 24x plus 48 minus 25x. You know the reason why it is negative, isn't it? Plus 42 the left side become minus 40, minus 40 equal to 0. Now, see 24x minus 25x. 24 minus 25 that is minus 1 minus 1 x plus 48 minus 40 what is plus 48 minus 40 plus 48 minus 40 is plus 8 is equal to 0 now minus 1 x plus 8 equal to 0 which is in the standard form a x plus b equal to 0 now we have to find the value of x for that shifting plus 8 to the right side of the equation that is minus x is equal to minus 8 plus 8 shifting to the right side it become minus 8 minus x equal to minus 8. Cancelling x from both side of the equation we can cancel x from both side of sorry uh, minus from both side of the equation or, or we are just multiplying a negative 1 on both side of the equation. If we multiply minus 1 here and here minus 1 into minus x that is plus 1 x x equal to minus 1 into minus 8 that is plus 8 x is equal to 8 or we can divide a negative from on both side of the equation then it is become x is equal to 8 x equal to 8 is the solution of this equation. It was not in its standard form I made it in, in the standard form then I solved it. In the same way you try yourself uh, I will give you some more uh, works which is in your textbook after the after completing this session. Now, to the second question 8 x minus 3 divided by 3 x equal to 2. Let us try to find the solution. Using this rule, we know that 2 means 2 by 1. Using this rule, we can express this as 1 into 8 x minus 3 which is 8 x minus 3 equal to 3 x into 2 6 x. Shifting 6 x to the right side. 8 x minus 3 minus 6x equal to 0. 8x minus 6x is 2x. 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Now, 2x equal to minus 3 to the right side plus 3. 2x equal to 3 means x is equal to 3 divided by 2. 3 by 2. x is equal to 3 by 2 is the solution of this, this uh, given equation. See, it was not in the standard form. I made it in the standard equation, standard form of the equation. Then I solved it, and x is equal to three by two is the solution. Uh, so uh, you can try it in your uh, notebook. You have to do so many works. When you practice, if you practice well, it will give you more experience. If you are more experienced, uh, you can solve the problem. Solve any problems very easily. So make. Uh, more experience. To make more experience, you have to practice well. So, go to page number 34 and 35 in exercise 2.2 and 2.3. You can find many equations. They are not in its standard form ax plus b equal to 0. But you can make it in, in the standard form and uh, then you, uh, you try to solve, find the solution. Now, let us move on to the next topic, some applications of linear equations in one variable. There are many applications for linear equations in one variable. 
before moving to the topic don't forget to complete the homework which is in page number 33 34 and 35 in your textbook exercise 2.5 and 2.6 don't forget that uh, complete all the uh, uh, questions equation, uh, equations given in this exercise complete it and uh, send me the answers here is an application problem on linear equation in one variable the problem is this the digits of a two digit number differ by 3 if the digits are interchanged and the resulting number is added to the original number we get 143 143 what can be the original number this is this uh, problem can be solved by using uh, linear equation in one variable before that you must understand about two digit numbers let us take a two digit number suppose it be 25 25 is a two digit number for a two digit number we have two digits one is uh, in its tenth, tenth place and other is in its unit place in 25 5 is in its unit place and 2 is in its tenth place isn't it we can express this 25 in some other way see 2 in tens place and 5 in its unit place so this uh, this number 2 digit number 25 can be expressed as 2 into its place value 10 plus 5 into its place value 1 isn't it 2 into 10 plus 5 into 1 we know that 2 into 10 is 20 and 5 into 1 is 5 so now 20 plus 5 which is equal to 25 if it is 36 3 6 36 in the case of 36 we can express 36 as 3 into its place value 3 into 10 plus 6 into 1 isn't it in the same way if the digits are x and y x and y we can express this number as x into its place value x into 10 plus y into its place value that is y into 1 that means if the number two digit number uh, which is obtained by putting x in the tens place and y in the unit place is 10 x 10 into x 10 x plus y into 1 y 10 x plus if the digits are x and y, x in its tens place and y in its unit place, then the number can be expressed as 10x plus y. Suppose if we interchange the digits, if we interchange the digit, digits, y will be in the tens place and x will be in the unit place. That, that will be uh, like this, y here and x here. If it is here it is y and y in the tens place and x in the unit place the number will be y into its place value 10 into y, y into 10 plus x into 1 that means 10 y plus 1 x means x 10 y plus x if the digit are x and y and x in the tens place and y in the unit to place the number will be 10 x plus y if we interchange the digits the number will become 10 y plus x this change you must understand to solve this problem ok now let us try to solve this problem for solving this problem we have to uh, put this word problem into an algebraic expression to solve this problem first of all we have to read this problem carefully see uh, the digits of a two digit number two digits are there and they differ by three they differ by three means the difference between the digits is three let us take one digit as x one digit as x we know that the difference between these two digits is three then what will be the other digit if one is x what will be the other digit the other digit will be x plus 3 or it can be x minus 3 also 
Only thing is the difference should be 3. X and X plus 3, they differ by 3. X plus 3 is 3 more than X. So, the difference is 3. So, we can take the digit as X and X plus 3. Or sometimes you can take X and X minus 3 also. No problem, no issue is there. You can, you will get the same answer also. Now, here I am going to take the digits as X and X plus 3. X and X plus 3 are the uh, digits. Let us take the digit as X and X plus 3. As I uh, told you earlier, uh, if the digits are X and Y, here it is tens place and unit place. If the digits are X and Y, we can put X here and Y here, then the number will be 10X plus Y. In the same way, here the digits are X and not Y, X and X plus 3. So, here X and here X plus 3, then the original number will be original number is 10x plus y, 10x plus y, here not, uh, uh, here it is uh, x plus 3 not y. So, then original number is x into its place value, x into its place value 10 plus x plus 3 into its place value unit place 1, that is 10x plus x plus 3 x plus 3 into 1 is x plus 3, which is equal to 10x plus x is 11x plus 3. So, the original number will be 11x plus 3. If we interchange the number, here see, if the digits are interchanged, this uh, uh, statement, statement is there, if the digits are interchanged and the a resulting number is added to the original number. So, interchanged number also we need. So, I am going to interchange, interchange the digits here x plus 3 and here x. If the digits are interchanged, the interchange with new number will be x plus 3 into its place value 10 plus x into its place value 1. That is equal to, let us open this one. 10 into x, 10x plus 10 into 3, 30 plus x into 1 is x, which is equal to 10x plus x, 11x plus 30, 11x plus 30. Original number is 11x plus 3 and new number obtained by interchanging the digits is 11x plus 30. Now, there is a relationship between connecting these two numbers, original number and new number. For that, we have to read the question once again. Uh, if the digits are interchanged and the resulting number means this number, this one, this number is added to the original number, which is the original number, this one. This number is added to the original number, we get 143. If we, if the, if, if the digits are interchanged and the resulting number, this number is added to the original number, this one will give 143. That means according to the given statements, 11x plus 30, new number, plus the original number, 11x plus 3 gives, gives what? 143, 143. Let us come, uh, let us solve this equation. 11x plus 30 plus 11x plus 3 equal to 143 means 11x plus 11x that is 22x, 30 plus 3, 3, 33 plus 33 equal to 143. Now, 22x plus 33 equal to 143. I am going to shift 33 to the right side of the equation. It will be 22x equal to 143 minus 33. Now, it is, uh, it is 22 x equal to 3 minus 3, 0, 4 minus 3, 1 and 1, 110. 22 x is equal to 110. Now, x is equal to, here x is equal to 22 x is equal to 110 and x is equal to 110 divided by 22, 110 divided by 22, 11 is a common factor here. So, 10 here it is uh, 2, 10 by 2 which is equal to 5, x is equal to 5 is the solution of this equation, x equal to 5.
we, ha we have two digits x and x plus 3. The first digit is taken as x and that x is equal to 5. So, the first digit is 5. Then what is the second digit? The second digit is x plus 3. x plus 3 means 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3 means 8. So, first digit x is equal to 5 and the second digit x plus 3 equal to 5 plus 3 which is equal to 8. Now, the digits are 5 and 8. So, the original number will be 11x plus 3. 11x plus 3 is the original number. Here x is equal to what is x? x is equal to 5. So, 11 into 5 plus 3 which is equal to 55 plus 3 equal to 58 is the original number. This is the two digit number we have to find. So, we got the answer 58. 58 is the solution of this question. But you know that uh, 58 is not the only solution for this question. Actually, 85 is also uh, is a solution of this question because 85 also uh, holds these conditions 58 and 85. Sometimes you can take uh, x and x minus 3 as the digits. If we take x and x minus 3 as the digit, the answer will be 85. So, both the answers are correct because both these uh, two numbers 85 and 58 holds these conditions. Uh, you can, this is an example problem in your textbook, example 14. You can see the same problem uh, in your textbook, you, you verify there also. Now, let us see another example. The perimeter of a rectangle is 13 centimeter and its width is 2 and 3 over 4 centimeter. We have to find its length. Once again, the perimeter of a rectangle is 13 centimeter and its width is 2 and 3 by 4 centimeter we have to find the length of the rectangle. We all know that the perimeter of a rectangle, if the length is L and breadth or width is B, then perimeter is 2 times length plus breadth. Perimeter is equal to 2 into L plus B, length plus breadth. This is the equation to find the perimeter of a rectangle. Here, it is given that the perimeter is 13 centimeter, P equal to 13 centimeter and also given that its width which means b is equal to 2 and 3 by 4 centimeter 2 and 3 by 4 is its width you have to find length l so p equal to 13 means p what is p perimeter perimeter is 2 into length plus breadth is equal to 13 so, 2 into length plus breadth, breadth is given that is 2 and 3 by 4, 2 and 3 by 4 equal to 13. Again, 2 into L plus 2 and 3 by 4 means it is a mixed fraction, we can make it into improper 4 times 2, 8, 8 plus 3, 11 over 4. Once again, 4 into 2, 8, 8 plus 3, 11 divided by 4, 11 over 4 is equal to 13. I am going to open this uh, bracket 2 times L, 2L plus 2 into 11 by 4, 2 into L and 2 into 11 by 4 is equal to 13. Here 2 and 4 cancelled out. Now, it is become 11 by 2, 2L plus 11 by 2 equal to 13, which means 2L equal to 13 minus 11 by 2, 11 by 2 shifted to the right side of the equation. Uh, 13 means 13 over 1, we can cross multiply or take LCM, whatever it is, uh, you can do. Uh, 2L is equal to 13 into 2, 26 minus 11 divided by 2. 2L is equal to 26 minus 11, 6 minus 1, 5, 2 minus 1, 1, 15 divided by 2. So, L is equal to 15 divided by 2, here is also a 2, 2 into 2, 4, 15 divided by 4 centimeter, which is equal to 15 by 4, 15 divided by 4, 
3 times 4 12 with remainder 3. So, the answer is 3 and 3 and remainder 3 by 4 centimeter. So, the length of the rectangle is 3 and 3 by 4 centimeter. We have many problems on uh, the applications of linear equations in two variables in your textbook. So, I am going to give a homework for you in page number 28 and 31 exercise 2.2 and 2.4 many problems are there try to solve all those problems and let me do know the answers. Thank you.